Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we have two things in our sketchbook today. First thing is going to be sketchbook entry distance number three. For this entry, I want you to use complementary colors. You're gonna sketch out some sort of botanical subject. Uh, for botanicals, that can be flowers, fruits, plants. Um, I've seen people do like leaves or roots and it's been really successful, but it should be something plant-based. Uh, once you have your subject picked out, you should sketch it out with pencil in one of those pages in your sketchbook or on a scrap piece of paper. Once you have that all sketched out, you should be moving into complementary colors with some sort of material. Uh, as a reminder, complementary colors are colors opposite each other on the color wheel. So good examples of those would be red, green, blue, yellow, and purple and orange. Uh, I will show a couple examples after this that you can go through and get some ideas and get an idea as far as color combination. So you'll notice in here that I'm going through and similar with uh, the monochromatic color scheme, instead of just using the red and green, you'll notice that I also go in with differing pressure. I'm using that pressure to kind of show that different value from light to dark. And then I'm also gonna go back in with black to get some of those really deep dark red and green values to help kind of emphasize where I have shadowing and where I'm seeing some detailing within my calla lilies. And something to keep in mind with this, it can be a combination of different materials. It doesn't have to be two of the same, but you should be taking that time and getting that information in there. For the sketchbook entry today, um, I want you to be spending at least five to 10 minutes on this entry. Take that time, get warmed up for the day, and then you're gonna move into the second piece or part. Here is what my final piece turned out for the sketchbook entry. We are gonna move through the slideshow, um, look at the examples, and then it's also gonna walk you through the rubric for this next project, as well as a couple examples from last semester. So, um, head over, look through those slides, and then take a look at our next video for today. Thank you.